Welcome to this video where we learn how to make your own tobacco pipe. Prepare for bilingual English, exotic wood and simple tools. If you learn something from this video, I will really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. This is called briar root. It is extremely hard, dense and heat resistant. And it is primarily used for making smoking pipes, as it does not affect the aroma of the tobacco inside. The football side tubers are harvested at the age of around 30 to 60 years, and then they're cooked for several hours and dried for several months before they are further processed. And this is the acrylic mouthpiece. It has an inserted tenon, which is about uh, eight millimeters, and the whole mouthpiece is about uh, 130 millimeters long. And this is called Carnauba wax. It's uh, very common in uh, car waxes. It's the finish of uh, choice for most briar tobacco smoking pipes, as it produces a high gloss when buffed, and it dulls uh, with time, rather than flaking off like most other common finishes. This is how I made my drawing regarding this smoking pipe. I started by drawing the outer lines, but the piece is not perfect, which I will show here. The piece is not the same size on both sides, which means that I will have to measure out the size of the smoking pipe. And now I'm marking the outline of the tobacco pipe. I found that uh, four and a half centimeters uh, broad and around five centimeters high is the good design for this uh, briar root. Now I'm marking the outline for the uh, acrylic uh, mouthpiece as well. Uh, it's quite hard to do it. Uh, and show you how to do it uh, well uh, when you're filming this, I realized, but uh, I'm doing my best. This uh, hole is quite uh, shallow and it will be needed to uh, be drilled deeper later. I'm gonna make the hole around 20 millimeters uh, thick that you can uh, put the tobacco in and uh, around four centimeters deep. I'm drawing the hole in the bottom for the tobacco and I will soon show you how I will uh, drill this uh, hole for the tobacco as well. It's uh, quite uh, hard to do if you don't have the right tools. And then you will have to create your own tools. Then I cut out the drawing to be able to put this drawing on the piece of wood. I turn the drawing over and fill in uh, these lines so that they will match the piece of wood. I finish cutting the drawing and I draw the lines on the piece of uh, wood so I can easily saw this piece to the right shape. The lines do not need to be exact on this uh, piece, as we will still be carving this uh, tobacco pipe with an angle uh, grinder. Then I draw the inside of this uh, tobacco pipe, which helps a lot later when I have to drill out the chamber and uh, the mouse piece. Here you can see my sturdy DIY bench. As you understand, there probably won't be a video of what my workshop looks like right now. Enjoy these uh, 4K clips as I hand saw down this uh, piece of wood. The idea of this uh, video is to show you that it is possible to make uh, nice things without expensive tools.
when I watched this uh, video, I quickly realized that 4K clips make you very aware of how your hands look. Now I will uh, mark out where to drill the hole and uh, where the edges of the mouthpiece will be. Once upon a time I owned a bandsaw. It would have been uh, very easy to work with that uh, today. So spoil yourself and buy yourself a bandsaw. Then we mark out where the hole should be by drawing across from corner to corner. And the same thing for the mouthpiece. Now we will make the hole for the mouthpiece. I measure the correct distance on the drill and then I mark the drill with uh, tape to act as a depth stop. The mouthpiece fits perfectly in the hole. You can sand down the tenon for easier removal later. And here I drill the hole to fill the smoking pipe. First use a hole drill in the size of 16 millimeters. As you can also see, I have marked the depth stop on the drill in order to prevent me from drilling too deep. Then I will make the hole 20 millimeters big so that you can actually fit the finger in the hole. However, we now see the problem with using this type of drill. Therefore, I mark out where I need to cut this drill to be able to make a perfect hole. If you don't own an angle grinder, you should buy one. The only reason I first drew with a 16mm drill and then a 20mm is to make it as easy as possible for the 20mm drill to remove the material. Finally, I drill the hole where the tobacco smoke will enter the mouthpiece uh, from the chamber. Mandatory functionality check. Now I draw out the shape of the body uh, on the top and bottom so that I have something to follow when I carve the body. To carve out the shape of the body I use a grinding plate for the angle grinder with the 4 degree uh, sandpaper. Use gloves when working with these types of sanding plates as they tend to cause chaos if you don't uh, have them. There are some pretty nice uh, clips of what happens if you don't have gloves when you are using this. As you can see, it's possible to quickly carve material with this type of attachment. All in all, I carved out the body in about uh, 5 minutes with the angle grinder. Buy yourself an angle grinder, you deserve it. I feel satisfaction when I make things. On weekdays I work with uh, something completely different than uh, we work in. When I'm satisfied with the shape of the body, I move on to start processing the part of, for the mouthpiece, which requires a little finesse.
to remove the last material for the mouthpiece, I use a rasp, which means that it won't be chaos if I make a little mistake. Then I start sanding the body with my random orbital sander. I work my way up to 220 grit, which takes a little while. To shape the top of the cylinder, I use a Mora knife and some sandpaper. The Mora knife is made in Sweden. The model I use here is called Gubbjävels Moran, which translates to Old Man's Mora knife. The model is very common here in Sweden. After shaping and sanding the body, a little water is applied to the wood so that the wood fibers uh, are raised. When that is done, the body is sanded once more in order to make it very smooth. Now you also get the privilege of looking at this beautiful wood with beautiful veins. Final sanding with 220 grid sandpaper. I made a decision to stain the body with the SAR wooden stain 101 walnut. It is important not to stain the inside of the smoking pipe, which in that case can lead to more toxic byproducts being ingested, which is kind of ironic when you think about it. The wooden stain can be applied without having to remove all the dust, which is uh, preferable. It's also very easy to apply and it's very hard to fail as you just wipe off the excess with a cloth. Some people like to make briar wood even darker with other types of wood stains. I think it's a bit nicer when you actually see the details of the wood. Now I will wax the body with the carnauba wax in its purest form. To help me I used an angle grinder with a polishing disc. The angle grinder is very versatile, buy yourself one. The wax needs frictional heat to be transferred to the polishing disc. Also remember to use safety glasses here as the wax is quite uh, fragile when it's uh, not hot. Here you see the wax stuck to the polishing disc. Then I start uh, polishing the body. Carnauba wax uh, quickly creates a very glossy surface that is very resistant to dust, to dirt and uh, water. Buy yourself a decent angle grinder. You won't regret it. There are an incredible number of accessories. Now we can see the final result of the polishing with the wax. The wax can be made even more shiny with the real polishing machine. Here we see the final result dancing on the table with perfect balance. And here we see it with good lightning. This video aims to show DIY enthusiasts how easy it is to make nice things with simple tools. If you have learned something from this video, I appreciate if you choose to like this video and subscribe to my channel, as this will enable me to create more videos. Good luck with your projects and see you soon.